emotionally corrective experiences are very important, but I think it's very important to sequence that corrective experience correctly. And I think that we first, so let, let me step back and define uh, emotionally corrective experience. So that's this experience that in a sense disconfirms your old negative belief, like, oh, I'll never be loved. And then you have the experience of being loved. So that's a very simple example. But I think that if we try to create those emotionally corrective experiences too early, then it feels just like almost just being trying to be convinced of something that you don't believe. Like, no, you're fine. People love you. You're good. Like it, it, it has no resonance. Rather, what we need to do is we need to go back and first kind of identify the experiences that brought about this, in this case, sense of like, I'm not worthy of being loved. And then understand how that came about, why it's reasonable that you would have come to this conclusion, then investigating the memories, finding the distortions, and then after that reflective integration piece is done, then the we'll call it the body mind is open to the emotionally corrective experience. But if we give the emotionally corrective experience too early, it doesn't feel right. It feels it can almost feel like shaming for people.